problem is that there's unwanted players abusing the American public with unwanted phone calls. Yeah. And there's, you know, like we've seen in so many other industries, truth in advertising. Yeah. Right. We're seeing it with the SMS numbers. You have to register. You have to prove you're a valid company to be able to do that. Yeah. And with caller ID, that should be for the American consumer, uh, a point of truth, right? If it, this number is calling me, if it's a legitimate customer or if it's a legit, legitimate business, I should be able to know who they are. I should be able to call them back and reach out to them. But there's yeah. a lot of nefarious players out there that are spoofing other people's phone numbers or providing. Well, and, and let's break it down even a little bit further. Let's go a little higher level. It just means that we're attesting for that customer. We are sending some of our credibility on each one of those calls, right? So if, for example, if, if it's not a self-signed call, stir shake, and we're talking about stir shake and more specifically, if it's not self, if it's not signed somewhere by a carrier, either your carrier that, you know, that you're using or yourself, your own digital certificate, then the attestation is not going to be as high, right? The highest attestation is A. There's A, B, and then C and then none, right? Wasn't there D? There, also? there might be D. Yeah, too. there's a D, but you know yeah. who wants a D? And nobody's going to, you know, those D attestations are going to come up on the far end <clears throat> as spam likely, yeah. right? They're they're not trusted. So as a call progresses through the telco network here in North America, yeah. the telcos are each attesting to the validity for the truthfulness for the trustworthiness of these calls. So right. they leave our network as attestation A. And we do a direct handoff to one of the large players. And, yep. you know, it should arrive at the far end also at, at a station A. But if it's going through multiple carriers and they don't know us or right. they have rules in their telecom network. that Well, in theory, in theory, and hopefully most of the telecom endpoints are doing this at this point, is there spot checking certificate signing, right? There's just spot check. Because that's got to go through the whole call string process, right? That certificate signing string exists in the SIP header all the way through from start to finish. Well, if not from start have to finish. It, well, it's not even going to complete, right? You yeah. know, if you hand it off and you don't have that right framework for the SIP header and the attestation, yeah. the call is going to die. Or it's going to, or it's going to be, yeah, it's either going to die or it's going to come through spam likely or no attestation at all. And the deliverable of that, and this is where the first amendment for me comes in, is if I can't deliver a, a piece of communication to somebody and it's legitimate mm. 